Well, just to start, kind of update on transfer news and that kind of thing, Connor Brennan just announced, and Kieran Brooks is on the horizon as well, we believe. Uh, can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, no, uh, Connor's, um, Connor's in this morning training. It did very well. Um, will give us competition um, in different positions. He can play on the left hand side there as well, you know, so it's, um, it's one for us there as we're added, you know, a little bit more quality to the group, which is great. Um, as he said, Probably the last couple of weeks we need to add numbers to so quite late as a squad and stuff, so that's great. And yeah, Tiernan, that's um we just waiting on the payport there to be completed there for that to be announced. So that's uh, another uh, it's a done deal as well, really, is it? Yeah, more or less it's it's done, it's just waiting on the, the final bits of it to be done uh, paper wise, you know. So that's um that's another great addition for us, you know. And he's a good addition, he's a highly rated number twenty one international as well. Yeah, very good. Yeah, very good. Good communicator, um good off crosses, um good Good with his feet as well, you know, and he'll he, bring something to the group, definitely, yeah. Any others on the horizon? I mean, um, obviously you said just now as well about adding numbers. How many numbers realistically are you looking to add? Um, a couple, a few more, yeah, hopefully. Um, I know Liam's working hard in the background um, to try and uh, bolster the squad. Um, yeah, there's a few other names, obviously, that he's talking about and stuff like that, so can't really uh, reveal anything now. Like, but yeah, look, hopefully we'll, we'll be adding more, you know. But the idea the, the, the is that two or three more, maybe, or... Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. All right. Coming at uh, last week was I've chanted the name after, and it, it was it was a poor performance. Dean said, and I think that was the, the general consensus around Curtis Cross. Uh, you'd be looking for an improvement, obviously, on Friday night. Yeah, no, form's quite it wasn't acceptable, really. You know, um, in terms of our energy levels, in terms of our application to go and try and win the, a big football match, I don't think it was uh, anywhere near the level that we've uh, set. You know, and. I think the lads know that themselves that we need to be better. Um, you know, you're coming into a big game like that, and you know, a lot of players didn't perform, and so it just wasn't just wasn't good enough. So on Friday, we're looking for a reaction in terms of you know application, in terms of energy, in terms of quality on the ball, and uh, hopefully we, we can go on and uh, uh, get three points. I mean, it'll need to be a real step up because Pats are flying at the moment. They did a big winning at CCD last week. There, they're right up there now in the league, like pumping like four points behind Shamrock Rovers. So hey, it's going to be. It's going to be a difficult one. Yeah, it is going to be a difficult game. Like they're all, they all are. But what I would say is that we've shown uh, that we can compete with the best in the league. You know, so it's just getting that consistency. That you know, there's there's a there's a good performance in the lads every week, and that they're competing against these sides. You know, because when we do, generally we're in games, and as you can see, we've beaten uh, some of the best teams in the in the division. So we just need to bring bring our game back to what it was probably before the break, and that we can you know compete and hopefully get three points. And um, injury wise, uh, have you had even a uh, your worry about Friday nights? No, um, just the long term ones really that have been out. Uh, they're the ones really. Um, everyone else has kind of been training and that. So, yeah, we've had two good days now, and uh, we've had uh, some obviously with with Connor coming in, and you know, with the with the younger players coming off from the 19s, we've had yeah, good numbers of training as well. So, we've uh, we've had some good sessions. Yeah. All right, excellent. Chief. Cheers. Try Johnny come in there. On mute there, Trev. It's yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can hear you, Trev. How are you doing, right? Yeah, no about No bother. Um, but it's just on the on the new signings. Um, you can't reveal any more. You were saying there on on who else might be coming in. But when do you think they will be in? Obviously, they won't be in for the Friday game against Pats. Will they? How soon do you think they'll come in? Uh, I wouldn't think so at this stage, Trev. But what I would say is that Liam was working hard behind the scenes to try and get numbers in. Um, as you say, we've probably been working off a very late squad. You know, especially with the ACL injuries that we've had in the last month or so. So, yeah, we just need to add a few more and um, get more competition for places and that we've more options to say winning games that we can change games off the bench as well, you know. Yeah, can you give us any kind of idea of position-wise, like the players that might be coming in and, you know, where, where, where they're playing midfield up front? Or... Um, yeah, look, if you look at it, probably if you go off the injuries that we have and stuff that, you're probably looking at Hopefully that we could get another midfielder in. Um, yeah, look, there's one or two other positions as well, Trev. But like as you see by Connor, is that like keep him coming in? He can play in a number of positions. You know, he can play uh, as a, as a wide player in a four-three-three. He can play as a wing back. He can play in a ten as well. So look, there's um, different positions he can fill as well. You know, so look, that's that's probably you know kind of areas as well that we're looking at that lads that can kind of do maybe multiple roles as well. You know, yeah. 
Um, just looking back to Friday, uh, Rich, you know, it was so important that you didn't lose the game, even though you were all played for lots of it. But, um, you know, looking at rather the team that you probably most likely have to reel in, is that a concern, given like that they're in front of, you know, your own fans at home, that they were the better side? It's a concern because you'd obviously, you know, you you want your team to play better than that. Like, you know, you want, you know, a performance that the Cork public are looking at and saying, you know what, that's that's our Cork City, that's the club that we, you know, see week in, week out, lads that are giving 100%. I'm not saying lads didn't give 100%. I'm just saying it's one of those nights that was just flat, that there was no spark. Um, and as the game went on, I think the, the lads that came on or probably off the bench gave us that little bit and you look at it, probably, Trev, as you say, it's probably one of the best points that we've got all season because, touch wood here, I don't think that we could play any worse than what we did, you know? Yeah, uh, it was a great finish, wasn't it? But, um, you took your equaliser and, you know, had the ball been squared to about the edge of the area, you might have won a few in the end, like against, you know, against the run of play. Yeah, look, yeah, look, as I say, it's probably the only bit of quality we show in our game is uh, the passage of play for the goal, you know? And look, there's, there's been signs that, through the, the last month or so that you know, there there is there is quality within the group but we just need it more consistently, you know, and we need we need the lads to really step up now on a consistent basis and put in good performances in the running, you know. Yeah, you're just finding hard to score goals at the moment, aren't you, Rich? Yeah, yeah, we are. We are and it's probably we need goals from different areas as well, you know, like you look at look at the games that um we've played recently and the goals that were scoring, there's been some high quality goals and crosses from wide areas that we have scored, but do you know what I mean? Look, we're probably set pieces probably we haven't got enough return. Do you know, there hasn't been enough in terms of maybe, do you know, ugly goals, I say, do you know, do you know ones as it's do you know, tap ins or so on as well. You know, it's it's either been a, a great team goal or it's been, do you know, it's something that do you know that we've created for a, a passage of play and stuff like that. So we just need to just obviously be more ruthless and create more opportunities in games. Yeah. It's just funny how the league is going, I suppose, Rich. We were saying to Liam Buckley last week like that four wins in a row and now one point in the last four. It's kind of going that way, if he is let up and down. Yeah, yeah, but one thing I would say is probably from Friday night is that, you know, it's probably a great point because, as I say, it's um, we didn't play well. So to get a point probably shows is that there's, you know, at the end, to realise a bit of character to kind of, you know, get, us, get ourselves back into it. And that's... That's what we need, but we also need a, a performance to match, you know, uh, what we're trying to do here. And going forward as a group, we we need to set standards that are better than that, you know. Yeah, I suppose going into Friday against Pats, you know, they're the form team, aren't they, Rich? They're currently second, one one loss, I think, in the last day. They've beat you twice around yeah. this season. So yeah, be told about it. Yeah, very good side. John's done very well since he's gone in there as well. And um, yeah, they looking at them, they're uh, they're aggressive on the press. They've got some good technical players, you know, they can cause you trouble in, in different areas, you know, and obviously they've got um they've got players that, that can change a game at any time, like Safar still or any to all these type of players, they're they're uh, they're top top players, you know, so we need to obviously look after them but also impose our own game on them as well, which you know, we're more than capable of doing. Yeah, and away from obviously hasn't been great, Rich that one win, but you picked up so solid performances without winning, I suppose, like Rovers and Sligo and so on. So, you know, you need to bet your very best, I suppose, again against Pats to get something on Friday. Yeah, hundred percent. We need to yeah, we need to be at our best. Do you know, we need to be at our best on the ball and put also off the ball, you know. We need to win our jewels, we need to, to you know, compete, we need to do all the basics first and earn the right to play, you know. Yeah. And I suppose what is it, fourteen games to go, Rich? And I, I know you're looking at game by game, but Obviously, you're hoping that the players that do come in fit in straight away and help you to to, to get crucial points at this stage. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, we need um, we need everyone now. You know, we need all, all, all the players. You know, the, you see the, the as I say, the difference the lads made when they come on on uh, on Friday. You know, we need that going forward. We need obviously the lads that are starting and playing to perform, but the lads that are coming on to make a difference as well. You know. Okay. Good luck, Friday, Rich. Cheers, Trev. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Andrew or Mick there, one of you want to come in? Yeah, can you tell me now, Rich, here we go back. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that's a bad. Uh, just a couple of quick questions. So, just on Conor Drain, like, what do you see? He, he, you mentioned a number of positions he could play in, but 
what do you think um, is his best position? Uh, we would have seen quite a bit of him last year as a white player. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'll just ask again. Uh, just on Conor Dryan, and you mentioned that he can play a number of different positions, but what do you see as his best one? Uh, probably in a 3 5 2, he can play as a wing back. Probably, you know, as a more of attacking option as a wing back. Um, probably gives you that balance as well, you know, in terms of uh, crosses and stuff like that, you know. Um, probably an area where we needed to strengthen uh, in a 4 3 3, can play higher up in the wider ones or he can play through the middle as well so we've got uh, a, bit, a few options there with him you know and then um, I pretty much I've asked this every week but just on Jay's goodbye is he still training with the club now at the moment Jay's had to go back to Scotland to just obviously sort stuff over his own end and stuff at, you know and just personal belongings and stuff at, you know so yeah um, you know might something might happen with that going forward um, but we'll have to wait and see you know and uh, Matt Ely is now out of contract. Is he going to get a new deal? Is it? Matt's in talks at the moment, uh, obviously with the club. So um, he's had one or two other offers as well. So we just have to, again, just wait for uh, to see what comes of that, you know. Is he still training with the club? And is he is he able to play Friday? Or do you have to have it sorted by then? As well? well, look, he's at the moment, he's not able to play because he hasn't signed. So he's out of contract. So look, yeah, so he's just playing every other way and see what happens there, John. Uh, hopefully that would be resolved the next day or two. So he's not currently training with the club? No, he's been in this week, yeah, yeah, he's been training, yeah, yeah. Alright, thanks. thanks. That's what I'm all good, lads, thanks. It's great questions there, so it's all sorted. Okay, perfect, Dylan, do you have anything? Yeah, just a quick one for me. Uh, I saw reports in the UK media, but uh, this club's looking at Joe Bray with March, and just speaking collectively in the squad, do you expect any players to leave during the transfer window? Hope not. <laughs> As you say, we're uh, we're we're pretty thin at the moment, Dylan. So I look, yeah, I hope I hope there's no one leaves. But look, players like Joe and and Joe, you know, other players that do well will always will always attract interest, you know. So I look, ho- hopefully, yeah, he's in the Cork City shirt uh, at the end of the month, you know. But uh, yeah, look, it's great for Joe that he's um, Joe scored again the other night, and he Joe he's he showed us in glimpses of what what he can do, but. Again, like the other players, we need more, and uh, I think he's at a good, uh, good club, and he's at a good stage of his development where he can, Joe, get better playing in front of a big crowd at times across most weeks, and and uh, keep developing that way, you know.